Hey everybody, we're here today to do a couple of solving two-step equations. I've got two examples we'll do on solving two-step equations. And the first equation we have here is x over 4 plus 3 equals 13. And our goal here is to solve for x, or in the language of algebra, to solve for x to get x by itself on one side of the equation so we can see what the value of x is. And we're going to do this in a uh, purposeful way using algebra. Um, we might be able to look at this and see what the value of x is without actually writing anything down, but we're going to use algebra to show that our answer, that what we think it is, is the actual answer and have some evidence as to why we're saying that. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to separate the left side of the equation from the right, hand, right side of the equation. It's kind of an unnecessary step once you get familiar with solving equations, but just to kind of keep the left side from the right side um, clear, I'm, I'm going to draw that line there. And then the first thing I'm going to do after that is I'm going to take this plus 3 and I want it to go away. I want to isolate x. x is on the same side of the equation with this divided by 4 and this plus 3. So we're going to kind of do the order of operations backwards because we're undoing an equation. And I'm going to subtract 3 on the left-hand side. And I'm going to subtract 3 because I want this plus 3 to go away. And the opposite of plus 3 is minus 3. But with algebra and the purpose of drawing this line is that what you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the other side of the equation. So if I subtract 3 on this side, I have to subtract 3 on the right-hand side as well. And when I do that, I can combine some terms here. I can combine the 3 and the 3. I can combine the 13 and the 3, or the minus 3. And when you do that, our equation becomes x over 4 equals 10. Notice the 3's are gone because we subtracted them. And the 13 becomes a 10 because we subtracted 3 from 13. So now we have x divided by 4, or x over 4, equals 10. I say divided by 4 because if we say divided by 4 and we want to do the opposite of divided by 4, we are going to multiply by 4. So I'm going to multiply by 4 on this side. The little asterisk means to multiply. But once again, what I do to one side, I do to the other side. And I'm going to multiply by 4 on the right-hand side as well. The left-hand side, these 4's cancel out. Divided by 4 and times 4 are opposite operations, so we're left with just the x on the left-hand side. So we have x on the left-hand side, and then we have 40 on the right-hand side because 10 times 4 equals 40. So the value of x in this equation is, 10, is 40 because 40 divided by 4 is 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. So the, the value of x in this equation will be 40, and we're done. Another one, um, using the distributive property now, because inside the parentheses we have 3x minus 1. We can't do 3x minus 1 because they're not like terms. So I'm going to multiply this expression by negative 2 by using the distributive property. And when we do that, we get negative 6x because negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. Then we have a plus 2, and that plus 2 comes from doing negative 2 times negative 1. Negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 1 is 2. And then, of course, this equals 20. Nothing you can do with that, so we leave it there. Now we're down to a basic two-step equation. Once again, I'm going to separate the left side of the equation from the right side of the equation. I want to get rid of this plus 2. Again, I want to isolate x, and I'm going to do the order of operations backwards. If we knew what x was, we would do the multiplication first, but we're going to undo that. So the opposite of plus 2 minus 2. So subtract 2 from the left-hand side, but once again, what you do to the left side, you must do to the right side. So right on the other side, and we get minus 2 there. When we combine terms, we get on the left-hand side the negative 6x. The 2's are gone because they canceled out, and this 20 becomes an 18 because 20 minus 2 is 18. So now we have negative 6x equals 18. Negative 6x times x, so the opposite of that multiplication is division. So we're going to, we are going to divide both sides by negative 6. Divide the left-hand side by negative 6. Divide the right-hand side by negative 6. And again, these, these negative 6's will cancel out. Negative 6 divided by negative 6 is 1, leaving us with 1x. And on the right-hand side, we have negative 3 because 18 divided by negative 6 is negative 3.